We are going for dinner. What do you want to eat? I want to eat uh, I'm not hungry. What? I'm not hungry. What kind of dish is I'm not hungry? I'm not hungry. Do you have anything that we want to eat? No. No? No. Juna? No. Sushi! No! no. <laughs> You know, we're gonna eat sushi. No, they don't like. But if they don't wanna decide, it is the earliest time we ever have. Yeah, but I wanna. We wanna eat earlier. It's eighteen point point ninety four. Eighteen point ninety ninety five five four. That's six o'clock, right? I, I I don't know. Wait, let me think. Fourteen is two. Fifteen is three. Sixteen is five. Yeah. Six. No, 16 is 4, 17 is 5. 5? You're pretending to be stupid. No, 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 okay, wait. 2? What kind of nails do you have? Four. Four. So you can't count. Sixty. Seventy is five. Eighteen is six. I was right. Six o'clock. I think. Right? Yes, you're all right. Oh my God. It took Jessa from the home till here to understand. Yeah, but on the first minute I already said six o'clock. Ah, okay. Uh, so, glass, yeah. so you still don't know what we are going to eat? Pizza. Pasta. Are you hungry? Mexican. Are you hungry? Nobody's hungry. Why do you go? Now we eat sushi. <laughs> Why are we going eating if you're not hungry? Because I'm hungry. I need I'm to hungry. get new these pretty pink leggings. And Julie is also hungry, so. Pretty pink leggings. What's the flower? What are you going to do? They always have their own plan. Where are you going to go? No. Uh, You're not going to wear the stairway? Like that's one... Serious? They are not going to walk here. But they are taking the elevator. They are taking the elevator. This is like one floor. Do you have these puber kids at home as well? Like it's like... You, you can see the street. And they take the elevator. Well, Roman is the one I don't know. What did you do? The keys didn't work anymore. The keys didn't work anymore. So we checked out already. No, I think it's been longer than a month. They uh, used to reset. You were talking about them. Um, what were you talking about? Do you know over three days? Yeah, you said something. But the Why is it not filming your face? Hey? What is this strange thing? Nah, that's terrible. <laughs> ah, now we have both. Yeah. Uh, oh, because we stayed 30 days. Yeah. Are you still with the key? Yeah, with the key. That, but now that means we are going to leave. Yeah. Are we going to leave to Portugal? Did we make a decision? Yeah. I know, I know. Can what? I say? It was a tough decision. I want to say, I want to say, oh, I want to say. I want blah, 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 blah. Yes. Take it easy. Okay. Oh, so this camera is really freaking me out. I'm, I'm filming with the DJI again, guys. But the, the thing keeps tracking my face and not filming the rest of the family. So, there needs to be a setting. Can Something. I say? Yeah, you can see. What are we going to do? What, are, what, what, what? what do What you want to say? You're constantly screaming. I want to tell. I want to tell. Oh, yeah. Tell. They say so, Mexico. Are we going to stay in Mexico? Yeah. How much longer? Two months. Two more months. No months. Because no, no buttons. Look. It's not working correct. No, no. So we're going to stay another month. <laughs> <laughs>
No, it's fine. It keep, looks, it zooms in your tits, not on your face. The no, camera is you know, like a terrible camera. A while ago, I had the same thing. Yeah. And you told me I was doing it wrong. So you are doing it wrong. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice, but huh? <laughs> can you tell me why was it a tough decision? Because, because I want to. Because in Spain, our grandma is there, and in Portugal, I don't know. I'm asking mom. Yeah, but mom isn't my ear. <laughs> why, why is mom not here? Look, every time it finds your face, the thing goes all near your face. So it was a tough decision because? Because uh, most of the family wanted to leave. And the most is everybody with but <laughs> me. <laughs> and me. Yeah. Because we were preparing to leave. We can also go and eat on Death Street one time. Okay, we can try. No? Oh, where do you want to eat then? Maybe we now have the chance to talk. So why was it a tough decision? It was not a tough decision. The kids don't know where to eat. And now we are walking to a pizzeria. Beautiful one. Let's see. Okay, why was it a tough decision yeah. if we want to stay in Mexico oh, or no. leave? Yeah. Well, because um, the girls wanted to leave. Yeah. Because, you know, we told them we would stay one month. We are already two months here and they like it in Europe. They like to be with their grandmother and grandfather and uncle in Spain. And two dogs and one cat. Yes. And they and we can like get the food a little bit more. So they wanted to go to Europe. So we were preparing to go there. And then we came up with, okay, maybe it's not a good time to go already. And so that was for me a tough decision because the kids were unhappy. But then we had a good talk and we explained it to them and they are now like okay with it. Yeah. And, and uh, what was the problem for us to not go there? Ah, uh, for us. Uh, yeah. Well, it's uncertain. It's not, uh, the rules are changing quickly than, uh, you, you know, with the the flu situation with everything that's happening in the world we know how it is here we uh, talked with people in Spain and with in Portugal. Portugal and they are still telling us okay we are opening slowly but it's still not uh, for sure that we stay open they can lock down if they want so that's why we wanted to extend the month and see what all will happen in the rest of the world yes <laughs> but now you yeah. feel a little bit more safe in Mexico because that was a huge decision as well. I feel completely safe because there is a lot of policemen with officers and guns. No, yeah, but it's not that they, they are... Um, okay, I was raised in a way to be... Um, what, how, how, it's a total different way the people are here than in Holland and that's okay. But for me, it's like I'm not that kind of... Um, yeah, how, how can I... Really You're a softie. Yeah. <laughs> You're just a weak, a softie. Not a weak, even like a softie. The, she is all about love. And I'm not like, uh, She's not about scammers. I like to buy illegal passports. She's against it. No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> against it. That's, that's a good thing in Mexico. Everything but it also brings possible. the rest of the corruption. And you don't like the rest of the corruption. Yeah, you know, they can hold you and tell you you are drunk. And you are not drunk. And they say you are drunk, so you just pay. Yeah, and then you and pay. That's then I'm like, oh, what do yeah. I need to do? And then he's like, fuck you, I'm not gonna For you, pay. it's easy. You just show your tits and you do a free. Yeah, but I know, need to pay. But I find Yes, what do you want to say? You know that time that we were uh, having a uh, soft song we can play? Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they scam us at the gas station. They scam you everywhere if they want. You, need to you know, be, they need to make uh, money. It's business. It's business. Do you call it also alert? You need to be very alert. Alert everywhere that yeah. you won't get scammed or yeah. whatever. And well, I get tired of that. And they are very good salesmen and very good scammers. But you know, it's all over the world you get scammed. <laughs> Is it Barcelona? Sure. We got scammed. We in, in, everywhere you get scammed. And maybe it's because in Holland I know the way everything goes, and here it's totally oh, different. Don't so talk about Holland, why. please. You're Let up. me see. Let me see. But you're happy with staying in Mexico. Here do you yeah, like? I, you know, it, I, yeah. <laughs> the no. short version. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what we I prefer. Do? We, 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 I would be happy to go to Portugal and to build my blockchain village. And to see my family because they were coming to Portugal and to do all the stuff in Portugal, but it's not possible at the moment. So sometimes during these traveling lives, you have these 
moments that you can't decide what you want. It's just impossible to decide what you want because of the situation. And I think the most important thing of a family life, traveling, is that you're flexible and that you can adapt to the situations. Yes, you can be down for one or two days or whatever, <laughs> you know. But Sometimes I'm down with flexible. I'm like a, yeah. a Taurus, like my star sign, so I'm not that flexible. Yeah. <laughs> she is flexible in a way, but not when it comes to her mindset. But, no, but that I'm, is... I'm, yeah, but that's that's the that's the disadvantage of the traveling life. Sometimes you need to adapt, even if you don't like it. But um, we are not going to make a too long video. Let's go to the restaurant. Yeah, really, really, really. It's really the first hungry. time you talk like we walk on the street. Yeah. You're not ashamed of the camera and the people anymore, or what? <laughs> that's a long time ago. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find the restaurant. Look, we always walk together as a family. Yes, uh, Julie and Juna all walk around 20 meters in front of us because they are ashamed to walk with their parents they don't want to be part of the bitcoin family so they are like they, are they want to be walking 20 meters away from us so that uh, boys see that they are independent beautiful woman with long nails and a beautiful ass strawberries strawberries this is the only one that is my my True supporter in t-shirts. Look, Jessa has the whole t-shirt. It only meant for my I have the family t-shirt because it matches to your school, but I like it, the middle fingers and huddle. Look, there's also a beautiful thing over here, rooftop tree. And then you have these beautiful you apartments. Want to me? I want to this is oh, an amazing building. Into yeah? a pretty one. Look. I don't know how do you drive the car from there. It's we are going to do that one with the lamps over there. That's a really good one. I'm so excited. Are you excited? For the house. The house that will uh, take another couple of days, and I see. Just three. But I still need three. to get the confirmation. I didn't three. have the confirmation. The confirmation. You better say yes. The confirmation is not in. Are you there? They better say yes. Yeah, they better say yes indeed. That was our great demo. Joe will call me today. Let's go in. We can go to this one. Please wait to get seated. Guys, check. I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. The hand. What? The ham? <laughs> oh my god, 36. That's too cold. 36. 36, also not sick. You're pretty sick. It doesn't matter, man. It's no. all scam. 36. Okay. Ah, you're too hot. Lower. <laughs> Beautiful place here, guys. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, with the chandelier. So Jolie, can you tell me, are you now happy that we are staying in Mexico? No. Because... Whoa, happy answer. <laughs> I would rather go to Europe because I miss Europe. I miss Spain and Portugal and Grandma. And, and... But Mexico is cool and everything. But I just want to go back. The why? I just miss it. Why do you miss it? I don't know, just the country and the food. The lockdown or what? No, that's why you need to let me just call and just shut. But it's good, like the Corona stuff, it's hard to go back. And we're in the lockdown there, so it's not as fun as it used to be. So then it's better to stay here. Okay. But you would prefer to go yeah. back to Europe. What about you? Same. You would yeah. prefer to go back to Europe as well. Yeah. But you're not sad that you need to stay here. Or are you sad to stay here? But you miss something in Europe? The food. The food? What? Frikandel? Frikandel you try. Can you say it on the most Dutch way you can? Frikandel special. Frikandel. What? And mayonnaise. What is your favorite dish in Holland? What's your favorite food in Holland? Frikandel? But say it in a, in a Dutch name. Frikandel. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite food in Holland? Frikandel. And in Portugal? Frikandel. Also Frikandel, yeah, because there's a Dutch store. So you miss Portugal as well? But you like to stay here as well or not? Yeah. Only if we get a big house. Yeah. 
Yeah. And your nails can be long. Yeah. And you're going to get a body piercing. And Julie wants uh, six ear ring piercings. Then Mexico is okay. Because that is cheap. But on the other end, they like border. It's always difficult while we travel. And you? What? We already talked about you. Yeah. You prefer to go to Portugal as well? Yes. Uh, if there was everything uh, like normal, yes, I would go back to Europe. So, there you have it. For, against, uno! <laughs> Always for, against one. They all prefer Europe. I prefer to travel. I would love to go from Mexico to Costa Rica, to Peru, to Brazil, to Argentina, uh, then to Africa, and then maybe to Europe. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm, I'm also looking forward to go to Portugal and to start to build uh, the blockchain valley that we are going to build over there, because that's one of my passions. But at the moment, it's difficult for us as a family um, to live that life. It's difficult because of the government's lockdown. So, I think that was everything for today, Juno, wasn't it? Yes. So, if you like this video with a dark image because of the DJI, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I would love to hear your opinion. Give me your best advice ever to the kids. If you want to address the kids now about going to Europe or staying in Mexico, let me know down below the video what you think or what you would like to say to the kids. That was everything. See you tomorrow again. Bam.